You're watching Files on News. I'm Molly Rokasi. Well, typically when you think about puppy stores, people associate them with puppy mills. But our next guest says it's just not true. Here to dispel some of the myths is Gary Noodleman from New York Breeder in White Plains. Thank you so much for coming to the show with these little guys. How cute. Thank you for having me. Tell me, why do you think that puppy stores have such a bad reputation? Well, I don't think puppy stores have bad reputations because I've been in business over 30 years and most of our business is through referrals. I mean, uh, people have you believe, I guess, that uh, there are bad pet stores or good pet stores, I guess, like any other business, good newscasters, bad newscasters. So, I mean, uh, I guess a lot of the animal rescue people will have you believe that, but fact of matter is that's not true. So why do you think some people think, you know, the pet stores only sell like puppy mill puppies? Well, under the state laws of New York, New York State and most of the laws in the country, we have to disclose who our breeders are, the addresses, the phone numbers. So it's easy to find out if they are or they aren't. So I, I don't, I mean, it's just something that goes around. I, I don't know why. I mean, are, it's so easy to find out. Are breeder puppies just as good? As there, like there, a are, there are dog. breeder puppies. It's the same thing. You have good stores, good good stores, good breeders, bad breeders, bad stores. They're all from breeders. Only breeders can have puppies. So you either deal with the good ones or the bad ones. And what about the salespeople? Some people think maybe they're not as qualified or they don't know as much about the breeds. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, working in a puppy store isn't exactly a, uh, a glamorous job. I mean, we're cleaning <laughs> up after them, we're brushing them, we're doing things. The people that are attracted to that type of, of, of business or that because they want to hold them, play with them, take care of them, watch them. I mean, so by virtue of that, they they study more about them. They interact with them. I mean, I, I th my people are some of the best people to buy a puppy from because they can tell you more and they know more breeds as opposed to if you go out to a poodle breeder, they're going to know poodles well, but they may not know an alternative dog for you. So. Right. And sometimes when you see a puppy store, you pass one, little dogs are in the hot window or whatever. Some people think, you know, maybe the puppies are not as healthy. Talk about that myth. Well, again, I can't talk for all stores. I mean, I mean, again, there's good stores and bad stores, but the better stores have their veterinary, first of all, in the state of New York, it's a law, the veterinarians have to be there every week and either fits them or unfits them. Mm -hmm. So they're checking them and they're putting their license on the line. So if they're saying that it's fit for purchase, which means that it's healthy, it's able to be sold. Now the breeder, they're not, uh, again, it depends upon the breeder. You can have good breeders and bad breeders, but the good breeders are conscientious. It will bring their dogs regularly to the veterinarian. The bad ones don't care. They're going to sell whatever they have in their litter. Right. And there's no laws surrounding them selling a dog as that the law is against us. If the dog has a hiccup, we have to basically pay you. So we're right. trying to buy the best quality dogs. And also, we're, you know, we are a business, right. so we want to have our referral. So the idea is to sell the best quality. And it's all about a good puppy store, and we know that you guys are a great puppy store. Thank you so Thank much, you Gary, much. for coming in. And of course, if you're interested in purchasing one of these adorable little guys, you could head to New York Breeder at Terrytown Road in White Plains. Don't go away. We're coming right back.